Josh Agassaman. To understand why Josh Saman is one of the most violent fighters in mixed martial arts, you have to understand how fiercely he loves. When you first saw her, right, what did you think? Who is this drop-dead gorgeous girl? I was just smitten. I was just in love from the moment I first saw her. But it wasn't until he suffered defeat on The Ultimate Fighter that he realized he had met his match in life. Arriving home, he turned his on-again, off-again romance with girlfriend Haley into a mainstay. She challenged you? Plenty. She challenged you to challenge yourself? Plenty. From sauna contests to climbing mountains. What'd she say when you guys got to the top? She said, I did it. I told you I could do it. She was a believer. He was a skeptic. She stood five feet small. He was over six feet tall. A poetic love that paired a dreamer with a realist and gave Saman the inspiration he needed to get back in the octagon and win. You're able to break the fights down into seconds, literally. <laughs> yeah. And seconds feel like minutes to you. <laughs> Sometimes, yes. <laughs> and so how do you master that time in the octagon? The confines of that cage and that time in 15 minutes can be such a microcosm for life. It's, it's memories and stuff like that that kind of drives me when I'm in the fight. Memories rally you. Sure. Have you ever found it ironic that your love for a woman could help you to win a violent fight <laughs> in the crucial moments of that fight. I mean, love can be a tumultuous, very, uh, you know, dramatic thing, just like fighting can. You could be beating somebody up for 14 minutes and 59 seconds, and at the very last second, you get punched in the mouth, and, and the fight's over, and you, and you got knocked out. Right when you think everything is going right, it can take a wrong turn. And it did on August 30th. 2013. You got the text from her and it said, I want you there at 10 p.m. sharp. Was we were, we were planning to meet at a friend's house and um, she'd been in the car for five hours and was bored and you know, texted her back, texted her again, texted her again, didn't hear anything and then I panicked. Just minutes after her last text, police arrived to the scene of the accident. A rainy night, a highway her car into a tree. You write, I killed the thing I love the most. You blamed yourself. Yeah, I had a lot of guilt. I blamed myself for a lot of it. And You uh, bought a gun. I, I found a gun somewhere. How close did you come to ending your life? Uh, it's hard to say sometimes. Those were always very inebriated nights. The whole thing kind of felt like a, a, a night where I just wanted to just go to sleep and, and just have it be over. He chose life, a pad and a pen. She taught me what it's like to have someone more important to me than myself. She taught me that success is easier when we believe. I'd already suspected in my mind that love was the meaning of life. All the weddings, the arts, the sciences and religions, the drugs, those are the things the human experience is made of, but love will always be king. And then a divine intervention, a challenge, a fight scheduled for December 6th on Haley's birthday. She was always saying that everything happens for a reason. And, and when I saw that date pop up on, on the UFC website, I, I, you know, I could just, here in my ear, everything happens for a reason. Did you like, believe for a split second? <laughs> there, there are moments ever since she left where I have moments, just split seconds here and there. Like, Man, maybe she was right. You know, I get, I get in the Mandalay Bay arena and, and then I hear the music and I, I feel it all then and it, it all comes back. And then and that's when the whirlwind of, of emotion, you know, really started. And what were you thinking? I mean, I just, ha I just had no doubt in my mind that I was going to win. His hands are low, he's breathing labored. I know it's time. My punches are landing and he's a step behind now. I feel my shin land with brutal momentum. He falls below my line of vision and I know he won't be getting up. I didn't have really any moments of offense uh, up until the very final second. And that's, you know, like we said, that's, that's, that's what life is about sometimes, is turning the tide right when you think that, that it can't be turned. And so, and so that, was a good, that was a good moment for me because it just, you know, it, it changed my whole life with just one kick. The end to a chapter so he can climb again. You said this book was a chance to say all the things you never got to say to her. Do you feel that you've said, ev said everything that you wanted to? I think everything has gone said that I need to say, yes. But the book is also a vehicle to make sense of 28 years that feel like a lifetime. You always feared not fulfilling your potential. Absolutely. Have you succeeded? No, no, not at all. It's the prospect of unfulfilled potential that drives me every day. To be our greatest self is what I think our calling is. Finally, a passage from his book, a memory, proof that seconds of our lives can twist fate in ways we never imagined. I think you will have my sons and I think we'll make attractive babies, I said. 
She agreed, and last, I think I'd like to write a book before I die. She was always telling me to write more, to tell stories. Well, do you think I'll be in your book, she asked, with genuine curiosity and naivety. Darling, if I had to guess, I'd say you'll be the whole damn thing. And she is. And she is.